Welcome. Buckle up and hold on tight as we revisit the start of this 2014 action-packed film where a high-speed chase leads John Wick crashing into a wall. John is badly injured and comes out of the truck, applying pressure to the wound in his belly. He watches a video of his wife, Helen, and closes his eyes. Several days before, John wakes up with flashbacks of being with Helen at dinner, kissing, until the moment of her last moments with him. Holding Helen's necklace, John takes out his car. At the end of the funeral ceremony, John's old friend Marcus comes up to offer his condolences. John is cleaning up the house when someone rings the bell. A delivery woman asks for his signature to deliver a package. When he opens it, he realizes it's from his wife, Helen. She writes that she is at peace about her death and wants John to live his life to its fullest. For that, she gives him a puppy. John starts crying and grabs the puppy. The puppy's collar reveals that Helen named it Daisy. John bonds with the puppy and they spend the day driving around in his vintage 1960 Mustang Mach 1. Along the way, John's car catches the attention of three Russian mobsters, including Ayasef Tarasov, the son of crime boss Vigo Tarasov. Ayasef approaches John's car, compliments it, and asks about the price. John tells him it's not for sale, and Ayasef insults John in Russian. John corrects him by speaking Russian and tells him that not everything has a price. Yusef was stroking Daisy at the time and gets angry with John's response. A few hours pass, and John goes to an abandoned construction site to vent out his frustration. While he's at home, two men enter unannounced and start beating him. They kill his dog before leaving, revealing Yusef's face to John and knocking him out. When John wakes up, he finds his puppy dead next to him. He buries the dog and starts cleaning up the mess they left after the fight. Yusef and his men go to Aurelio's garage and ask him to change things on the car. Aurelio recognizes the car as John's, and Yusef brags about beating John and killing his dog. Aurelio tells them they made a big mistake and demands they take the car out of his garage as he only works for Yusef's father. Yusef is furious and almost kills Aurelio, but his men refrain. Later, John visits Aurelio to inquire about the car. Aurelio tells him he's seen the car and that it was Vigo's son who stole it. Vigo, Yusef's father, calls Aurelio and asks why he beat his son. He tells Vigo exactly what he did to John, and Vigo understands the mistake his son made. He tells Aurelio he wants to see his son immediately. John goes back home and goes straight to his basement with a sledgehammer and starts smashing the floor. He had previously buried a cache of weapons and gold coins. Vigo meets with Yosef at his house, offers him a drink, and compliments the way he's dressed just before punching him in the stomach a couple of times as a punishment. Vigo informs Yosef that John Wick used to work for him until he met Helen and left. John was known as Baba Yaga, the bogeyman, or the man called to destroy the bogeyman. Vigo recalls seeing John kill three men in a pub using only a pencil, emphasizing exactly how violent John can be. When John expressed his desire to retire, Vigo assigned him an impossible job that required many high-level killings in a short amount of time. To Vigo's disappointment, John was successful and played an important role in founding the Tarasov Syndicate. Vigo, on the other hand, tells his son that John will come for him and that there's nothing he can do about it. Vigo, afraid of John's retaliation, sends a team of 12 hitmen to John's residence that night, but John effortlessly murders them all. After some noise complaints about the party next door, a police officer arrives at the front door and inquires about a noise complaint. To this, John responds that he's still sorting things out. Vigo approaches Marcus and offers him a $2 million contract to murder John. Marcus agrees, and John checks into the New York Continental Hotel for the duration of his work trip. Perkins tries to kill John at the hotel, but Marcus, waiting outside with a rifle, shoots her when he sees her shadow in the mirror. John captures her and trades her life for information about Vigo. She reveals where they hide their fortune in a vault under a church. Wick goes to a bar where Yosef and his companions are having a good time and kills every hitman in his path, but Yosef runs away in a getaway car. Before going for Vigo's assets in a church basement, John gets a cut on his side, but gets treated by a freelance doctor. John then reaches the church, kills all of Vigo's henchmen, and sets fire to the church. Vigo is ambushed by John and after shooting and killing most of his men, 
is knocked down by an SUV that collides with another one and is captured by John. Vigo asks why the vendetta, and John answers that his wife is dead, and they killed the dog she gave him as a present, and that Vigo would have to choose between him or his son, or he'll kill them both. Vigo immediately tells his men to kill him. They place a bag over his face to suffocate him, but Marcus was right outside. He shoots one of the guards, and John manages to kill the other one. John shoots at Vigo's car as he's escaping, leaving him no choice but to reveal that his son is hidden at a Brooklyn safe house. Although it was packed with security guards, John once again manages to kill them all. As he catches Yosef, he shoots him in the stomach and then in the head. Perkins discovers that Marcus has been helping John and informs Vigo. Vigo sends his henchmen to Marcus's residence to kill him. They torture him as he tries to escape, and Perkins arrives and shoots him. Feeling victorious for avenging Yosef's death, Vigo calls John and tells him about what they did to Marcus. After that, he tries to get to a helicopter to leave the city. They plan to lure Wick to the house, and Perkins will kill him. The owner of the Continental Hotel, Windsor, meets her at Central Park and cancels her membership due to her disobedience of the hotel rules. As a result, the men kill her on sight. The cleaners arrive to clean up the remains. John sees Marcus' body lying on the floor and sets out to finish him once and for all. He catches up with them on their way to the helicopter and starts pushing his car against them. Vigo orders Avi to assassinate John and tries to push John off the cliff, but John manages to escape in time. The two then engage in a fistfight in the rain and stabs Vigo in the neck. The scene now goes back to the beginning where John is lying on the floor bleeding. John returns to the opening scene, still motivated to continue after watching Helen's video. He goes to a dog shelter to treat his wound and then adopts a pit bull and takes the dog home with him. Thanks for joining me for this movie recap. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more movie recaps. See you in the next video.